Hi, I'm Susan Holler. I'm from Brighton Stanton College, Orchard Park, New York. And today I'm going to read a passage from Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Houston. Hurston, sorry. <laughs> Seeing the woman as she made them remember the envy they had stored up from other times, so they chewed up the back part of their mind and swallowed with relish. They made burning statements with questions and killing tools out of laughs. It was a mass cruelty. And we can't come alive. Words walking without masters, walking together like harmony in a song. What's she doing coming back here in them overalls? Can't she find no dress to put on? Where's that blue satin dress she left here in? Where's all that money her husband took and died and left her? What that old 40-year-old woman doing with her hair, swinging down her back like some young girl? Where's she that young lad of a, of a boy she went out here with? Thought she was going to marry? Where he left her? What he done with all her money? That she off some gal so young she ain't even no hairs. Why she don't stay in her class? When she got to where they were turned, her face on the bander log and spoke. They scrambled a noisy goody and left their mouths setting open and their ears full of hope. Her speech was pleasant enough, but she kept walking straight on to her gate. The porch couldn't talk for looking. The men noticed her firm buttocks like she had grapefruits in her hip pockets. Great rope of black hair swinging to her waist and unraveling in the wind like a plume, then her pugnacious breast trying to bore holes in her shirt. They, the men, were saving with the mind what they lost with the eye. The woman took the faded shirt and muddy overalls and laid them away from her remembrance. It was a weapon against her strength, and it turned out of no significance. Still, it was a hope that she might fall to their level someday. But nobody moved, nobody spoke, nobody even thought to swallow spit until she gave until after the gate slammed behind her. Pearl Stone opened her mouth and laughed real hard, because she didn't know what else to do. She fell over Mrs. Sumpkins while she laughed. Mrs. Sumpkins snorted violently and sucked her teeth. Hmm, let her all worry ya. You ain't like me. You ain't got her to study about. If she ain't got no manners enough to stop and let folks know how she been making out, let her go on. 